Hey, Alex out here at Jones. Wanted to shoot you a quick video of the 2021 Sport Touring Envision that you had inquired about. Now, for 2021, there's a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades that they had made. And right off the bat, you're gonna notice the sleek styling that the Envision gets. That all complemented very well with the Sport Touring look, which gives you the 20 inch blacked out wheels here, the color matching wheel arch moldings, gets rid of all the chrome and really it gives it a, uh, a more aggressive styling than what we're used to on the Buick lineup. Right off coming from the back and working our way up front. So you have your hands-free liftgate, which is between the hands-free liftgate and the keyless entry all the way across. You never have to worry about holding the key in your hands. You can just leave it in your pocket, or come up and open the hatch or any of the doors without having to fumble over the keys. Now you can see there's plenty of room in the back back here. You still get a spare tire underneath, which is nice to see the Buick's hanging onto that. You've got your cargo lighting, as well as a nice cargo shade in the back. Now you've got rear parking sensors on this that serves two functions. One being, of course, it's gonna help let you know before you bump into anything. It's also going to monitor on either side when you're backing out of a parking spot. It'll let you know 50 feet in either direction if someone's walking or driving and which way they're coming from so you don't back out in front of anybody. Plenty of leg room in the back. They wanna make it comfortable for all the passengers, vents and charging ports for those rear passengers. One thing I do really like about the Envision is it folds true flat across the back. So if you are loading up larger items, you don't have to worry about getting hung up on the seat or anything like that. Pretty much gives you a flat bed all the way from the cargo area to the first row. Now I'm sure you notice all the door handles have these chrome buttons. That's what I'm talking about with the ease of entry. You can walk up, hit the button, lock and unlock it. Now right off the bat, we're gonna start with the comfort on this. So you've got your four-way lumbar support that'll move up and down as well as in and out. So that way you can have it fit your personal settings. You also have all the power settings from your up, down, knee support, as well as the tilt of the seat. Continuing on comfort, you're gonna have your heated steering wheel, as well as heated seats on both driver and passenger side. You're also gonna have dual climate zone. So you and any passenger can pick your settings and you don't have to fight over the climate control. Going on to some of the tech features, which is going to continue with convenience of this vehicle. You're going to notice as soon as you sit in the vehicle, this massive 10 inch display that you see here. Now, one of the cool things for 2021, they did just add wireless Apple CarPlay. So you no longer have to plug in or anything like that, both for Android and Apple, you can just get in and sync it up with Bluetooth. All your favorite apps that uh, they deem safe are right here on the front of your screen, which makes it a lot easier to learn a new vehicle. It's just like learning or working your phone. Now, of course, you've got your normal radio and you can just use the standard Bluetooth here as well. Um, but most of, the, most of the time you're gonna be using that Apple CarPlay, Android Auto to listen to all your favorite music and also use all your favorite navigation apps. And you also have a display up here in between your speedometer or in your gauge cluster here. This is going to go through and give you all the diagnostics of the vehicle, your fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, air filter, brake pad, timer. This will pretty much tell you everything you need to know about what's going on in your vehicle. You can also have it set up for music or for your recent calls or any other items such as that. Or you can just have it as a digital speedometer showing how many miles you have till empty, and how fast you're going. Now, you, even though you do have the massive 10-inch screen on the back side of either steering wheel, right near the paddle shifters here, you can also control the volume of the radio, or you can skip around to your favorite presets or skip songs if you're listening to music on your phone. Now, I wanna to touch on some of the safety features. Right off the bat, you've on this one, you've got your side blind zone alert which will let you know on either side if someone is creeping up in one of those blind spots, keeping you from merging into another vehicle. You've also got forward collision alert. You'll notice a little square there. You're gonna see a red dash or a red light flash up here if someone jumps out in front of you, slams on the brakes, or if someone's walking in front of you. This will let, alert you and let you know before you end up hitting that person or the vehicle in front of you. 
Um, it also has low speed forward braking, so if you are traveling at a safe speed, um, it'll also help you and assist brake you before, again, getting into one of those collisions. You can adjust all the settings for that and how far that's gonna allow you to go until it takes over right here on the steering wheel. You also have standard lane keep assist, so this will actually steer itself back in the lane, heaven forbid you doze off or become distracted behind the wheel. And then again, those rear parking sensors, if that's something that does bother you, you can turn those on or off right from the front here. Now they switch over to an electronic shifter up front, which gives you a ton of storage underneath the console here between the box up front, the two cup holders, and of course the pass-through storage in the console here. Um, another great part about this is you can actually pick and choose whether you're in a sport, all-wheel drive, or just a touring mode, which is really nice for fuel consumption. You don't have to be in all-wheel drive all the time and burn that fuel, and you can change that right with the mode button here. Electronic parking brake, you never have to worry about leaving it on. As soon as you put it in gear and hit the accelerator, it'll automatically release all on its own. And another nice little feature, if you and your passenger are riding, you don't have to worry about making the other person lift up their arm. This is a split console, so that way you can still access it without disturbing whoever's using it as an armrest. Now I just covered a few features and options, there's still a lot to go over, and I look forward to having you out here to experience just how quiet the oak makes this vehicle and how comfortable it really is. I hope you found this helpful and look forward to meeting you and showing you all that the brand new Envision has to offer.